Welcome back guys. What are we going to be doing in this episode? We are going to be building the absolute easiest volcano tamer that you've ever seen. It, it does the job. It produces power. It cools down the metals so that you can use them. And it's just generally awesome. And we're going to be building not just one. Oh no. We're going to be building two because I've got two volcanoes. I've got an iron volcano up here. And I've got a copper volcano down here. And uh, yeah, but it's going to require a fair bit of infrastructure. Uh, which um, I've, most of which I've got put in and we'll just get that built out of the way and so that we can get on with the fun stuff. Uh, live stream. It's going to be a live stream as usual this Sunday. Usual time, 7pm UK. So uh, don't miss that. Right, well we can get on with this and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. So I need to prime these with hot water. Well, I don't need to, but I want to prime these with hot water. So I'm going to be uncovering this water geyser, which will give me water at like 95 degrees. So uh, we're going to get that set up. I've got to pipe that down to here and here. So I'm completing this side of the uh, of the of the transit tube so that I can pipe that down easily. And you can see I've got a pipe going in, which is going to go all the way down there and across there. And it's going to go to that one and to that one. All right. Also, we need crude oil because there's going to be a layer of crude oil and then a layer of water which will be turned to steam to power the steam to steam turbines. And I'm going to be getting that crude oil over here because we've pretty much run out over here. There's not going to be enough uh, for, for what we want. So I've got that going on. What else have I got going on? I don't know. Oh, I, I have finally, I think, solved my problems with the water ring. And I've got, um, I've put in a couple of uh, heavy watt conductive plates on that side and on that side. I've had to put in two layers of metal tiles uh, to, to withstand the pressure. But it means that if I want to get into this area, I can actually uh, just get rid of that tile, deconstruct that tile, and it'll give me access. And the water from here will go into there, but it won't overflow. So it's kind of awesome. Uh, God, I'm so glad that that's sorted out. It's been a nightmare. So um, in actual fact, I want to do that because let's deconstruct that and deconstruct that one because I need to get in here because I need to finish off my cables. So we're going to have, uh, let's see, what do I want? Heavy watt conductive wire. So I need to connect those up and connect those up. That's connected to that power cable. This one is connected to that power cable. Hooray! And then we've got power outside. Hooray! And I can do, uh, I can do the same at the top. I haven't done it yet, but I can do the same at the top pretty easily. All right. The other thing I've got to do, uh, this this volcano tamer uh, is going to get in the way of my transit tube. So I'm going to have to move things around a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this transit tube access over here. And I'm going to have uh, another um, another Atmos suit checkpoint, which is going to be kind of over here-ish. And then they'll, they'll put the, the, the suits on to go to this area or to go down to this area. But then I'm sealing this off so that they can't go further than there. Um, so they'll also be able to go into into this area, and then if they want to go down here to do this stuff, they'll go down here and use this checkpoint. Uh, the reason the reason for like separating these areas is that um, if if you don't separate the areas, then they'll 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 screw up the the Atmo suits and, and go to the like you can see down here we've got Atmo suits dumped down here because people changed got into an Atmo suit here to do stuff here. But then went down here, um, got, they go through this checkpoint, they're already wearing an Atmo suit. When they come back, they just dump it here and go out, which is obviously not good. We want them to return them to the right docks. So, lot to do. Let me get on with it. Who's suffocating? Who's decided to suffocate? Come on, get out, Shadow Prick. Go on, go on, get out. You, you going to survive? I think he's going to survive. Yes, just about. All right, let me, uh, let me get all that built. Okay, that is all of the infrastructure stuff done and out of the way. I've got uh, got this producing water, which is awesome. Uh, it produces quite a lot, actually. It produces, uh, what is it, 2.5 kilograms per second. I managed to get it analysed because it's got a very long period between eruptions, like, oh, like a cycle or so. So I was able to get that analysed. That was lucky. And uh, we've got this. This section of the transit tunnel done. I've rerouted this around this volcano. This is all set. We've now got the Atmos suit dock set up. 
so that we can work on this. It's going to be quite hot. We're up there just getting into this. So let's uh, let's get this going. Right, what do I want to do here? Uh, we want to get rid of this. The way that we build this is actually pretty important. So I'm going to go, let's see, one, two, three. Let's go four high. Just so we've got a bit of room. Um, this may need some cooling of the turbines. We'll see. We might get away without it, but we'll see. Right, and then we want to start digging into here. So let's start digging into this area. And then we need to get rid of this water out of there. Okay, cool. So so that's going on. All right, uh, over here. We kind of need to get to the point of almost digging the volcano out. The We need to leave that tile there. So I'm going to dig all the tiles around it. Uh, and all of this stuff can go now. Hooray. Okay, and we'll make that. We'll get this. I think probably get this one done first. So priority seven. Okay. Are we at the point where I want to get them using that most suits yet? No, because I want to get all of this dug out. I want them to be able to come down here and just dig this out. Although, it might actually be quicker if they were wearing suits because they could spend more time down here because there's no oxygen down here. So, yeah, I suppose. Go on, then. It'll limit how many people can come down here, though. But I think we'll still get more done. Go on. We'll do it. So, uh, enable this building and clearance vacancy. Oh, and Alex has managed to get himself stuck. Alex, for heaven's sake, you lunatic. How am I going to get you down from there? Um, you know what? I do. I, yeah, I'm going to want a ladder up there anyway. And he can breathe. So let's get a ladder going up there. And we'll do that. Priority nine. That's, there should be some, some granite lying around anywhere. Any granite? You'd think there'd be some granite lying around. There, yeah, there's some granite. Hooray. So they can build this quite quickly. There you go, Alex. You can get down now. He's like, I don't want to get down. I like it up here. It's nice view. All right, cool. So I guess, I guess there's no reason. As long as I don't dig that tile out. So I'll dig all the tiles around it. We can, we can certainly dig uh, that out. Yeah. Oh, man. I've uncovered that damn volcano. <laughs> oh, how the hell did I do that? I dug all around it. Oh, man. Okay, fortunately, it's dormant. Thank God for that. You know, all right, analyze, priority nine. Okay, that was freaking lucky. Stay dormant. Stay dormant, damn you. Uh, oh, this one's dormant as well. Oh, cool. Um, let me let me get the like the first layer of oil in here and get these bits and pieces finished and then we can move on to getting the water now this is oh this is almost full let me see you know what i am going to deconstruct that priority nine hang on did that say we've got some slime lung? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I've got a tiny little bit of slime on there. Okay, whatever. It'll probably get picked up by one of these other deodorizers and killed. Uh, what I was going to do was deconstruct that tile to let this oxygen out. And then seal this up. Let's see, what are, what are you producing? I'll give me the geyser. Status. And... Oh, don't stay in there very long. Okay, we can seal that now. Insulated tile goes there, and priority nine go. And then we just need to, we just need that tile to fill. What is this up to? I mean, that's half full, damn it. You know, if I get rid of that ladder, you know what? De deconstruct that priority nine. If I get rid of that, I'll bet you that that goes up there. No. No. Uh, don't stay in there very long, boys. 
yeah, bad pack. Oh, there you go, now it's filled. Right, so now we can insulate the tile there. Priority nine, build it. All right, sweet. So that's all sealed up, that's ready to go. Okay, so yeah, let me um, let me get the get this finished off and uh, get the oil in, and then we'll do the water. Okay, everything's going okay, but um, our luck run out on this volcano. This volcano is now active. It's already, it's already dumped out 800 kilograms of hot copper. And our crude oil is now up to 117 degrees. That is a problem. Because if I dump 95 degree water in here, it's instantly going to turn to steam. So I'm going to have to use some cold water. Which is a bit of a problem. But you know what? We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Let's get a bottle emptier. Which we'll throw up there. And set that to priority eight. Get that done. Right, let's... Um, how much how much have we got in here? We're over 600. That's plenty. So I think we can sever this now. Where am I going to sever this? It's a good point. Um, <laughs> where am I going to sever this? Let's sever this like back here, I think. So where the hell is it? Yeah, back here. So pliers. God, I love these pliers. Like, if you haven't got this mod, get the pliers mod. It's called. It's just called pliers, and it's freaking awesome. All right. So we'll let that drain off. We've got both volcanoes analysed now. This one produces three hundred and sixteen grams per second on average. So like every every time it erupts, it dumps out like 10, 10 kilograms a second, which is pretty awesome, at two and a half thousand degrees. And this one dumps out at two thousand two hundred. So we'll get we'll get uh, a little bit less power out of this one. Okay, let's start ditching some some water into this. Get up, this is going to work. So enable auto bottle. We'll make it priority eight. Oh, and I need to say what sort of liquid. We want water. Okay, while we're doing that, uh, as all of the oil drained out, yes, all of the oil is drained out. So what I can do now, grab the pliers. I'm going to sever the connection there. And then I want to join the connection here for the hot water. But I want to make sure that I've got cold water in here first uh, and, and see how it reacts. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see because this is. Let's see what's this up to. I say 109 there. I might. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We might have some steam initially, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we've got a little bit of steam going on. But hopefully, that'll calm down. Hopefully, this one should be easier. What I'm going to do, where's my pliers? Uh, I'm going to sever this, because we're only going to be putting the hot water into this one. So, let's sever those. And we'll get this hooked up. Insulated pipe. Zip. And make that, I don't know, P7. Alright, cool. How are we doing down here? Come on, get some more water in here, guys. What we need to do now, rapidly, is put in... A set of tiles now these are going to be removed afterwards but we need to put in a set of tiles across here because we need to create a, um, a vacuum in here uh, and of course I can't put tiles there which is a bit of an issue darn it okay hmm okay I think I can get around that and then on top we want to put in the regular tiles. Okay, so go. Yeah, that's mm, that's a slight issue. Oh man, why is my life so hard? Uh, what I want to do then, I want to fill in those two. Good job. Fill in those two. And those two. And then I'm going to want a liquid vent there. See, so what's the temperature? 88. Okay. You know, I should have... I sh actually, I should have let them put a little bit more water in here. It would have been helpful. Because what I'm going to have to do is let this turn to steam. 
um, to push these gases out and then seal this as quickly as possible. Oh, here we go. That's it. And we are we getting some steam? Not yet. Not going to take long though. Right there we go. There's the steam. Right, we need to seal this because this is this should all be steam now with a bit of look. So if we do that. Steam. We've got some chlorine. That's steam. We've got some stupid chlorine that wouldn't get out. It's not, to be honest, it's not the end of the world. But it is a bit of a nuisance. I would have liked that to have been 100%. That's not ideal, I've got to say. But, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, right, so we're up to two, 250 in there. That is more than enough. That's more than enough. So let's sever that connection there boom all right cool all right so that's loaded up we want to do a similar thing load this up with tiles like that uh that can now be deconstructed go away and in fact i want to get rid of that pipe altogether don't i yeah so uh what do i want i want liquid and we can get rid of let's take it back all the way over there okay go all right that done we can now do the really fun stuff let's rip that out we don't need that and get rid of that vent liquid vent deconstruct then what do i want i want oh yeah the fun stuff we want a couple of steam turbines which go now you want the I want the, the plugs towards the center. And there is a very, very good reason for that. I can't put that one in until they deconstruct that thing. Go. And then up here, this one's going to go there. And that one's going to go there. Cool. And we want, uh, let's see, what do I want? Oh, yeah, I want tiles, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> God, man. Focus. Focus, guy. So I want tiles to there, tiles to there. And what's ah, up? Gonna have to move that damn cable. That's a pain. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, so what do I want? I want heavy watt conductive wire. And I'm gonna run it around like that, on it. Yeah. Do that. I need to get that done before I rip the other bits out. Uh, this cable into there as well. Okay, the, the reason that I flip them round like that is because of the plumbing. I want insulated liquid pipe. This is going to go straight across there and down to there. And where's the other one? It's going to be the same. So this is going to go across there and down to there. And then we get a liquid vent, which we pop in there. Hooray. And same over there. Liquid vent goes in there. Oh, the, the, the thing that I haven't built yet, and that's a good point, uh, is the temp shift plates. And I've now got diamond. <laughs> And it's the high thermal conductivity that makes you want to use these diamond plates. So we'll do one, two, three on each side. One, two, three. And then we'll rip out those tiles. Oh, we're getting steam. Woo! Oh, yeah, it's all turned into steam. Nice. Sweet. It's all getting done. It's all getting done. Right, so we want the same up here. What do I want? Uh, I want utilities. Temp shift plates. Go. Uh, one, two, three. And one, two, three. Did I get them in the same place down here? No, those are one further too far over across. Cancel. Do that again. Let's get them in the right down place. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, how much steam have I got in there? 
Okay, that's okay. That's nowhere near enough. Where the hell did all my steam go? Okay, that's nowhere near enough steam. So I'm gonna have to top that up. Oh man. Okay. Well, fortunately, that's not. Uh, it's not actually that difficult. Let's get this insulated pipe. Um, if I run, just run it and hook it up to there. P9. Get that done. We need to get that up to probably around 100 kilograms of water. You know, that might be enough. I think what we'll do is, um, is we'll sever it and we'll see. We'll let it all turn to steam and see how much we've got in there because it's easy to add a little bit more. Uh, what am I doing? Water pipes. Yeah, liquid pipes. And just sever the connection there. I'll let the last bit go in. All right. Yeah, we'll let that we'll let that turn to steam, and we'll see we'll see how much we've got. Here we go. This is erupting again. Once all the water turns to steam, which it now has, what's our pressure? We're at about 118. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. Okay, you need to get hooked up to power. Oh yeah, I need to run the power cable down here, don't I? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. I decided to run the heavy watt wire down this way instead. And this should be ready to erupt. Oh, and there it goes, and there we go. And we are producing power. Woohoohoo! Awesome sauce. And we're running at about 130 degrees. And we are producing 300 watts. 284 over there. 285. So between 550 and 600 watts. Now, the question is, how long will this run for now? So we've uh, we've produced we've produced the copper. It's stopped erupting. And you can see the copper is now cooling down. The cold water, or the cooled water. So the, the, the condensed steam is being fed back in right onto that hot metal. And you can see it runs for quite a while after it's uh, it's finished erupting. Still going. 128 degrees. Now, uh, I'm sure somebody out there is going to say, "Oh, you should you should put in some some automation so that these don't start running until it's at like 200 degrees because you get more power." No, you don't. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> you only get as much out as you put in, okay? And it doesn't matter. It, it's only if you're maxing them out, right? So that you, you're running them at full power all of the time. Um, in this situation, we're going to be drawing more, because I've got two turbines, we're drawing more energy out than we're putting in, right? So it doesn't matter whether you run it, whether it's producing, you know, 250, 300 watts, like most of the time, or it's producing 850 watts, but for a very short time. Remember, if, if you're heating it up to 200 degrees, when it goes into the steam turbine, I'm just doing some research at the moment, I'll tell you about that in a second. Uh, when it goes into the steam turbine, the water still comes out at 95 degrees, right? So more heat is being used, more energy is being used to produce that 850 watts. And all that happens is you just cool it down faster. Oh, little spurt. All right, so how long till the till the next? And so we're, 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 we're giving it a good, we're getting a decent amount out of that. Only 0.4 cycles till the next eruption. So it's running for a running for a decent amount of time. Good. Uh, this one will be a bit better. We'll get more power out of this one. Uh, how long till this... Whoops. We've got 1.7 cycles till this one goes. Now, the research that I'm doing, I've just done plastic manufacturing. Uh, let me show you. I've just done plastic manufacturing. The thing I'm trying to get is valve miniaturization because I could put... I could seal this up and put a little miniature valve there and get rid of some of this gas that's in here. So um, the question is, can I get that researched quick enough? Have I got enough water? 
so so close to running out of water. I need to um, bring some of this water in from from here. Just run it through a filter because this is nice and nice and cool. It's like 9.9. .9. But it, like eventually, I need to get these feeding into our coolers. Now, if you're wondering, like, hang on a minute, Sky. The last end of the last episode, you you said you were going to do that this episode. Yeah, I realised that. I could really do with a little bit more power if I'm going to be running these because these are going to be using up like 900 watts each. Now, I do have one aqua tuner running up there. Now, I'm going to be turning that one off and that will um, that will be replaced by one of these. Now, it's going to be like 1200 watts and then these are going to be only you be using about around about 900 watts. Um, but I still need a bit more. So, these should give me something like an extra... 500 watts like on average see this is running again because it's only going to be it's only going to be producing enemy when it's active and this thing runs for 72 cycles and then it's dormant for like what 50 cycles no so about 60 cycles almost 59 cycles it's dormant for so if you work it out like on average this is going to be producing so you want to halve whatever it's producing so it's going to produce maybe like 300 watts on average over its life, maybe a bit less. So it erupts in one cycle, it erupts again in one cycle, but we're still getting heat out of that copper, still running, still producing power, loving it. And it's so damn simple. And the thing is, if you look at the temperature of the copper, I mean, it's only, it's less than two hundred degrees now. Now, if we want, we can just we could we could just leave it so that the, the dupes come in and just take what they need if they if they absolutely need it because it's not going to be that hot. The alternative, of course, is to just either either seal this up, which is that's my preferred solution. My preferred solution is to seal this up uh, to keep the heat in because we are going to be losing a little bit of heat out of here. Which, uh, which I don't want. I want to keep as much heat in here so to turn it into power. But when the, when the volcano goes dormant, when it's in a dormant period, this is going to cool down to around 125 degrees, something like that. Then you can unseal this, let them take it. 125 degrees, that we can deal with. We'll probably go and stick it in some cool water somewhere to cool down. But that's kind of awesome. And it's, it's working nicely. Still running. 0.5 cycles left. Still running. Cool. Have I got that other research? I'm not going to get that research in time. <laughs> oh, man. The other answer, of course, is when you dig the volcano out, don't dig these four tiles out. Right? Uh, until you've done all of this, seal it, then dig them out. And then you'll have a nice vacuum in there, and then it'll be filled with steam. So, that's ultimately the best way to do it but you can see how simple it is i mean apart from the fact that i've kind of screwed up that because i do i was just like yeah well, i'll just put tiles across there and it's a vacuum um yeah just don't dig those tiles out and then and then i mean seriously it's very very simple there's th every time i see somebody build one of these it's so freaking complicated it's got tons of automation all over the place and like, why? You really don't need it. How are we doing temperature-wise? Yeah, temperature-wise, we're doing fine. This is a nice thing. Because it doesn't run constantly, it doesn't overheat. Which means you don't have to put extra cooling in. Now, we might we, we might need to down here because there's, there's, there's very little places for the, for the heat to dissipate to. But um, up here, this one should run quite happily with uh, with no extra cooling. We'll see, though. We'll see. So here we go with the first eruption cycle. Now, you can see this is cooling down so damn quick. I mean, it's already... I mean, this, this is coming out like 2,500 degrees. And that's already below 900. This is already below 700. And you can see the crude oil is starting to heat up. What are we? 
80 degrees. It's going to take a few cycles for this to turn to, to, to steam. Well, I say a few cycles. I mean, literally, like, probably three cycles, I would think. Got to let this cool down and see what we get to. So we're, we're at, like, 93. So we've gone up from... So that's gone up from 80 to 86, 87. We've got most of the heat out of that now. So maybe on the next cycle, certainly on the one after that. Second cycle coming up and here we go. Look at that temperature going up. But it's, it'll go up slower this time because obviously there's, there's like twice as much uh, iron already sitting here. So, but the energy stays the same. And yep, yeah, we've got steam. Awesome. How much steam are we going to get? Let's see, what are we over here? 98. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna get some more. We still got a little bit of heat coming out. The heat transfer from the crude oil and the uh, and the temp shift plates is awesome. Oh, we're we're close. What are we? We're uh, 99 over there. 100. 101. Oh, come on, come on. Are you gonna, not quite, not quite. So, you know what, uh, well, certainly the next cycle, I'll be able to remove these tiles, and then we'll see how this thing performs when it's in full swing. Okay, so it's reached equilibrium, it's fully up to temperature, let's see what it does now. And boom. And what are we producing? 300 watts over there. Uh, 280, 290, 300, 336. Nice. So how long are we going to run for? So it's idle for about 1. Point, what, 1.3, 1.4 cycles. Let's see how long it runs for. Still running nicely. <laughs> oh, loving it. You gotta admit the steam turbines are very cool. I could sit and watch these things run for hours. Still running. And it's gonna run for a while. Well while while we're waiting for it to uh to stop. Yep, still going, still going. Um uh, for anybody that wants to build this themselves, let's have a, a quick run through. So Power, I mean, it's just a case of hooking these up to your, your power grid. That, that's it, as far as power is concerned. As far as the the plumbing is concerned, it's just that. Um, I, let's just um, let's just look at the, the temperature for a second. So, this is running at around about 52 degrees, 53. The longer it runs the more it will heat up, but it like it's not getting anywhere close to 100 degrees, which is its shutdown temperature. How's the other one doing? Actually, how's the other one doing? Is it getting warmer? No, it's doing fine. Doing fine. All right, well, so uh, that's the temperature. What else? Um, gas, there's, no, there's nothing, no gas stuff going on in here. Look, there isn't a gas pipe in sight, and... Um, Decor, not interested. Germs, not interested. Room overlay, not interested. And finally, the automation overlay. And there's nothing. No automation whatsoever. So all you got to do is like, when when the volcano becomes dormant at some point, and they go dormant for like a, quite, quite a while. So this, this thing's dormant for like 37 cycles. So it's active for 40, 48 49 cycles and then it's uh, dormant for 37 it's like at some point just fish the iron out just literally open up open up these two tiles and let them grab the iron or you could automate pulling the iron out if you wanted to you could just put a you could just put a temperature sensor in there I guess and just fish it out whenever you want so there you go I mean it's, it's you gotta admit pretty damn simple setup and what do we get out of it we get power and we get cooled iron and cooled copper. So we're gonna have tons of iron, tons of copper. 
that puts us in a great position to move forward. So I guess the next episode is going to be sorting out our water system. And once we've done that, so we've got the power to run the water system. Um, it's just going to be a case of sealing this one up and then pumping those into the cooling system. Uh, setting up the rest of the cooling system for the base. I mean, the, the, the base is absolutely fine. So, and then I think it's just going to be a case of go for rockets. So I guess one more, one more infrastructure episode and then we're, we're off to the stars. It's going to be interesting. Oh, but before we go, before we go, I got, where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding behind this guy. We got a molten slickster. Woohoo! Now, molten slicksters don't poop out uh, um, crude oil. They poop out petroleum. Oh, yeah. So what I've done, I've set this to um, to four critters now. And not only do we have a molten slickster, but up here, we have got a molten lava egg. So from now on, we're only hatching out molten lava eggs. And... Um, we're going to get rid of the uh, the two slicksters that we've got. And we'll just be having molten slicksters producing petroleum. How freaking cool is that? All right, guys. We're going to leave it there for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you found it useful. Uh, I'm sure a few of you will be building these. And I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the, uh, don't forget the live stream. Sunday, 7 p.m., 2 p.m. Eastern. I'll catch you for that. Peace out.